Greetings, beloved beings of light. Hope you're having a most beautiful, blessed day. Happy full moon in Capricorn. We have power energies flowing in through today's portal. After this introduction, I'm going to release a very powerful guided meditation. This is from We Love Mass Meditation. This is the Tibetan Dragon Ley Line Activation. I wanted to put out this short introduction before we go ahead with the meditation and give you some information on why I chose this very special meditation. Now we have our angelics, our starseed angelics, all over this realm, uh, participating in this meditation through many teams, tribes, and many groups. But I wanted to put out why I chose this special meditation for this very special and powerful day. So those that follow my channel, some of you have been following me for many years. Some, this might be the first video that you've ever seen from me. But those of you that know me know that uh, the East is very special to me, especially Tibet. Tibet, uh, China, Japan, India. You see, I trained with many masters over the years since I was 17 years old. You see, at 17, a uh, very special t Tibetan or uh, Taoist, you know, through the Tai Chi, through the Tai Chi lineage, a Taoist master found me and guided me to the Buddhists. And I trained with uh, many Zen Buddhist masters, Roshis and Sensei. Uh, since I was 17, and then I was initiated uh, into Qigong lineages through the Taoist lineage, and also Kunlun, which is Taoist, but the gold dragon master that I trained with uh, and taught his lineage for many years called Kunlun. You see, he was also a Tibetan Buddhist master, a Mongolian shaman, and a Taoist master, and Gong Fu master. So I've trained in many arts and taught for the last 33 years, uh, these lineages of the East. Then you see Tibet. Tibet is very special to me. These are my babies. These are my angels. And I know everything that happened to my people over the years, especially after the invasion of China through Chairman Mao, uh, the, the, the tyrant Mao Zedong. You see, he rose to power to protect his people and to free China from the West, especially the British Empire. But through this, he became a tyrant himself and then invaded Tibet around 1965, 66, something like that. But they have occupied Tibet since that. Many of you know the story. So we're very grateful for our people, our angels of India and Nepal and surrounding areas that took our people in when they fled from this tyranny. You see, many of our Tibetan angels were tortured, raped and murdered by the CCP. You see, we don't hold this against the Chinese. We have many Chinese angels, many angels in China. You see, this was through this nefarious organization that took over Tibet. But we are healing from this. We are healing our people. So we're very grateful. One of my closest angels, Sagar, uh, was born and raised in Nepal. So I've thanked him over the years for, you know, his people taking in you know, our Tibetan, our Tibetan angels. So this is very powerful. This Tibetan dragon ley line activation. You see, this flows through the east. You see, our people, our angels, our star seeds that are stationed in very special portals all over this realm are on these ley lines. We call dragon lines or song lines. These are the meridians of Gaia, uh, the, the channels, the energetic channels where the chi, chi is energy in Chinese, the chi. 
you see I have here, this is part of my Tibetan robes when I trained in Kunlun, although it's the Taoist art, our Sifu, our gold dragon master. Gold dragon means returnable rainbow body. You see in Tibet, we say Jalus, you know, Jalus, J-A-L-U-S is rainbow body. And you see, I have my Mei Long, see the Long or Long. L-O-N-G or L-U-N-G is dragon, dragon energy, and melong also means mirror. You see, the mirror is the mind, you know, the dragon energy. We say uh, clouds follow dragon. You see, there's ley lines on the earth, and then there's ley lines in the heaven. There's dragon lines in the sky and on the earth. They are mirrored, and then the dragon lines run through your physical vessel. We call these meridians in Chinese medicine or channels, energy channels. So you see, our people from We Love Mass Meditation put out this very special meditation. And if I remember, hopefully I remember, I'm trying to get this out today for all of you to, you know, to edit this video and put it out there for this meditation tomorrow. So I hope to remember to put on a map, an image of these dragon lines that flow through the east, you know, through China, Tibet, into India and in the southeast, through Thailand, uh, Bali, uh, Japan. We have many angels in Japan, many the Japanese masters of Zen Buddhism, the ones I trained with, Edo Roshi, Sensu Ogoi, you know, and then the of the West, you know, the West merging with the East through Kongo Roshi, Kongo mean diamond, through Daido Roshi of Zen Mountain Monastery of the Catskills. I trained with Daido and then Ching Feng Dao Shur, who know, now goes by Mujin Roshi, him and his divine counterpart, Diana, who I trained with many years, gold dragon masters. They're anchoring in the divine union codes and the rainbow body codes right outside Sedona, Arizona, in the forest there. So you'll see on this map, the energy flows through, and I've taught this in, this pa in the past, if you follow this channel, the, the mountains, you see, the lineage that I trained and taught many years of Negong, Negong from Middle Dan Tien. It's a water path, divine feminine. You see, I trained in the fire paths and the water. I trained in the martial arts and in the, in the healing arts. You see the blue path of Venus and the red path of Mars. They come together in the middle to create the purple, you know, the violet and purple ray of transmutation, resurrection, transfiguration. So these, these energies flow through. So of the East, I've taught this in the past, the Himalayan, the Himalayan mountains, Himalayan mountains that separated Tibet and Nepal and India. You know, it's like a, a uh, bottom of the circle of the spiral on the top in Mongolia is the Altai Mountains. And it creates a sphere. You know, in the north and in the south, the eagle condor, the dragon, the phoenix. And then in the middle, you have that S, which is Kunlun Mountain. We say it is the Axis Mundi, the Axis Monday. And Monday is the, uh, the central channel. It is the middle path of Buddha. Buddha is awakened mind. So you'll see these dragon lines, they run through these ranges, through these mountains, and through these energy centers. And Kunlun Mountain, Kunlun is separated uh, China from Tibet. Now they're one on maps, they show one country, which is China. But they've been occupied. So I have some friends here with me joining in this energetic transmission. The, these are very special stones that connect you to our star nation in Sirius, the Syrian race. See, this is titanium, this is coated, rock coated in titanium. So we have these elementals. We have our Andara of the aqua marine, the aquela, the aqua the, of the whale dolphin nation of the oceans of the waters. And we have this very special trinity. I call her trinity. This is from the Altai region of Mongolia. So powerful elemental. Then we have the green Andara and the emerald, the emerald of the emerald gateway that is open on the earth. I have a very precious angel with me here today. Let me show you her. She's being very cute. Look at this little baby. See her from some of my photos. She's our little angel, Coco. Coco Puff, we call her. 
puff the little magic dragon here. Mm, mm. Isn't she the cutest thing you've ever seen? She's my sacred condor and I are little baby, La Coco. She loves her big sister, Moxie. Put out some videos and pictures in the future. These two coming together here. See, we are of the feline, the Lyra nation. Say hi. She is the sweetest thing. She's Taurus like myself and our Moxie beans is uh, Aries like my sacred condor. So we had to get a Taurus you know, for the, with the Venusian energy. So Venus and Mars coming together in the center, in the center of the spiral. So she's the softest little fluffy thing you'll ever see. If you want more joy in your life, get a little Taurus kitty. <laughs> she's a little baby. She's so cute. She brings us so much joy and love and sweetness. You know, honey in the heart. So I'm going to ring the bell three times to bring your awareness into your vessel through the sound. She's very playful right now. So take some slow, deep breaths. This will prepare you for the coming meditation. So just know, you know, as you see these dragon energies and feel the dragon energies, of transformation, transfiguration, flowing through your body and they're flowing through Mother Earth, through this activation, through this meditation and just connect with our tribes all over this realm that are participating. You know, if this resonates with you, you can practice the sacred art, the sacred meditation and connect with our people, our star seeds all over this realm. Uh, we'll be doing this all together. Uh, I'll release this tomorrow. Today is the day before, uh, it's the 20th. Tomorrow will be the 21st of the full Capricorn full moon. So the divine energy, divine feminine, divine goddess rising up. So this is mother dragon energy. You know, today's the last day of the red dragon wave spell on the Mayan calendar. So we're really filling in. We have the red here with the gold, you know, the gold here. The gold of Buddha consciousness or the Christed consciousness of love, of truth, of compassion, of wisdom. So we're doing this meditation for all sentient beings to free humanity from these slavery systems where we say samsara, the wheel of karma or the wheel of birth and death through dharma, through truth. You know, truth shall set us free because we are the truth and it's our true nature. Freedom is our true nature. Bliss is our true nature. Love is our true nature. So take some slow, deep breaths in and out your nose. As I ring the sacred bell, you see these are the dragon bells. You see the dragons on there. These come from the east. I believe from either Nepal, India, Tibet, one of those areas. So just take some slow, deep breaths. Let go into the sound. Allow the sound to carry you through the silence. From the silence emanates the sound, then the sound, the frequency, the resonance returns to the still center. We say the still white magnetic light at the center of all things, which is God, truth, creator, prime creator, mother, father, God, whatever name you want to give to source, it's irrelevant just to feel, you know, we feel our way through and through and through. So we'll ring this two more times for each Dantian, each energy center in the Trinity activation. Let go, let go, let go, go through and through and through. So now we're going to continue with the meditation itself. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you all for your support. We appreciate each and every one of you. We're very grateful for all of you supporting us over these years and that continue to support us and that are joining us today on this beautiful meditation. Have a most beautiful, blessed day. Namaste.
Now as we begin this guided meditation, get in a comfortable position, wear comfortable clothes. Sit somewhere where you will not be disturbed. Sit with your back gently straight, deep breaths in and out your nose. Five seconds in, five seconds out. Feel the energy surrounding you. See your body, your sacred vessel, surrounded in a bubble of white light. And for more protection, you can surround that white bubble of light with a blue light. Continuing to take slow, long, deep breaths in and out your nose. Breathing in the heavenly chi, exhaling all negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and see your body filled with the heavenly chi, the gold light of Buddha consciousness, Buddha mind, the Christo Sophia consciousness. And with each breath you take, you go deeper and deeper, deeper within into the still center, zero point, and let go into whatever arises, let go into whatever you feel, and allow every sound to guide you back to stillness, back to source, to the kingdom of heaven within, everything you feel, everything you experience, everything you hear and see, allow that to guide you to the silence, to the stillness within. And as you feel your body getting more calm, more quiet, more still, we let go, let go, let go, and we smile, 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 ground, 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 gentle smile, slight smile opens up the heart, opens up the mind, let go of all thoughts, all feelings, whatever arises, be the witness, see it come and see it go, for your true nature is emptiness, it is silence, it is stillness, and these energies rise up and they return to the stillness like a gentle wave. Let go into that wave, allow the sign wave, the sound wave, the light wave to carry you to zero point. All things return to center the still center, the still white magnetic light at the center of your presence, at the center of your being. And now we begin the meditation. Take a few minutes and visualize a pillar of sky blue light descending from the sky, going through everyone in the meditation group and then to the center of the earth. If you're meditating alone, you can just see the blue ray of light, sky blue, going through your body, through the middle of your body, the central channel, and through your legs and out the soles of your feet and deep into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. If you're meditating with a group, see this light coming through yourself and your whole group the collective effort into the center of the earth. And now visualize another pillar of sky blue light rising from the center of the earth, going up through everyone in your meditation group or just yourself and then upwards into the sky. Your group and yourself are now sitting in two pillars of sky blue light. The light flowing both upwards and downwards simultaneously. Keep these pillars of light active for a few minutes. Or continue playing this music for a few minutes as you Continue visualizing these pillars of light, activating yourself and your group and everyone 
that is connecting through this guided meditation. And now visualize a huge mothership from the light forces being positioned high in the sky above your meditation group or above yourself. Visualize the mothership emanating a pillar of rainbow colored light. Visualize this pillar of light spiraling down clockwise, going through everyone in your meditation group and then to the center of the earth. If you're meditating alone, then just see it spiraling through yourself and deep into the center, the crystalline core of Pachamama, of Mother Earth, of Gaia. Visualize this rainbow colored light as an angelic being and then visualize this being activating all the galactic Sintamani stones in your meditation group or if you're using crystals see it activating and moving through your crystals or any elementals joining you in today's meditation. More light will be anchored if there are more galactic Sintamani stones in your group. Visualize the pillar of rainbow colored light expanding outward in a clockwise direction. Flowing to Malaysia, Thailand and Tibet purifying and healing the Tibetan Dragon Ley Line. Then visualize this rainbow colored light expanding eastward to Indonesia. Finally, visualize this rainbow colored light transmuting all remaining darkness on earth and activating all lights on the Tibetan dragon ley line. Victory of the light. I'll continue playing this meditation music as you continue joining in this powerful energies of the dragon of Tibet.
and of the east, and all dragons of every nation, every lineage, every timeline, and every dimension joining together in this great awakening, in this ascension process. Have a most beautiful blessed day. Namaste.